everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to do a sound mic, but this time it's going to be some of my favourite riffs and songs from the Smiths. So before we get started, if you like this sound like video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So the reason why I decided to do this is because I've never owned a CE1 chorus pedal, and I recently got sent and demoed the MD200 by Boss, which is part of their 200 series and has a load of different modulation effects in there, including the classic CE1 chorus sound. And considering Johnny Marr used the CE1 chorus either in his Roland Jazz Chorus amp or in a standalone pedal format, I thought this would be a really killer one to do. And of course, it's given us some access to another modulation effect that we'll use for one of the other riffs as well. So I recently did a full demo of the MD200, so if you'd like to see that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. So I'm not going to be using the exact guitars that Johnny Marr used, like his Telecaster and his 335. I'm more going for what he plays nowadays, that's why I'm using this American original Jaguar. And I'm not doing things like tuning up a whole step like he did on his Tele, I'm just using the Capo. So it's kind of like what he does live nowadays instead. So the amp I'm using is my Hampstead Art is 60 Plus RT, which is one of my favourite clean pedal platform amps. That's running into the Time King Iron Man 2 Attenuator, just knock off a few dBs, then into Celestian G12M 65 Cream Bat Speaker, that's been recorded by Lewitt MTP440 dynamic microphone. I'm also using the Brown Amplification Protein just to give us a really, really mild overdrive. It's more just a simulated tube amp that's turned up a lot because a lot of Johnny Marr stuff is just dead clean. There's no overdrive or distortion going on. So let's get into the first one, then we'll break down the effects. <laughs> So there we go, that was what difference does it make. Really simple, I'm just on the bridge pickup, I've not got the strangle switch engaged. Again, I had the protein just to give us that kind of amp turned up sound. And then I was using the CE1 algorithm in the MD200. Now I had the rate at a reasonable speed, but I had the depth quite low. And this is giving it more of a phasey thing and not really like a seasick chorus sound. And then of course I had a bit of reverb coming from the amp. So let's get into the next one. <laughs> So there we go, that was heavy, nice and miserable. Now, this time I was using both pickups together, so I just had them on the switches engaged. Again, a tiny bit of amp-like grit from the brown amplification protein, and then again, the C1 chorus algorithm in the MD200. This time I actually pulled the rate down a little bit and had the depth around the same, just to give it more phasey sound and less seasick sounding. So let's get into the next one. <laughs> Thank you. 
there we go. That was this charming man. So to get that really bright sound, I was just on the bridge pickup. Again, a tiny bit of grit coming from the protein. And this actually makes sense because Mark apparently used the tweed amp on this. So it is going to break up a little bit, even though he says all the time distortion is a no go. There's definitely a tiny bit of amp kind of harmonic breakup going on. Again, I was using the CE1 chorus algorithm in the MD200. And we just had the rate up a little bit this time and then the depth down a little bit as well. So let's get into the next one. So there we go, that was There Is A Light That Never Goes Out. Again, this is more like if he was playing it live on his Jaguar, because on the original, it's all just acoustics. I had both pickups engaged, and the strangle switch just to hollow it out a bit and give us that jangly tone, and then a tiny bit of grit coming from the protein again, and then the CE1 algorithm in the Boss MD200. I had the rate around the same as before, but I pulled the depth really far down. Okay, so now finally, we're actually gonna use a different effect in the MD200. <laughs> So of course that was how soon is now with the iconic tremolo that he got originally from his twin reverbs. So for this, I just went into the tremolo algorithm on the MD200, had the depth all the way up and then the speed to taste to get that right sounds. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing is on parameter two, it actually controls the waveform. I just had this dialed in so it is really, really choppy. So there we have it. That was a look at how to sound like some of my favorite Smith songs and riffs. Of course, having the Jaguar to nail Johnny Marr's current tone is really killer. Then the brown amplification protein just gives us that amp drive that we hear. Well, drive, it's more like just a turned up clean sound. And then the MD200 providing us the classic C1 chorus duties. And then of course, for how soon is now using that famous choppy tremolo tone as well. Again, I recently did a full demo of the MD200. So if you'd like to see that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original songs and any future had sound like videos you'd like to see me do. Also, let me know down in the comments some of your favorite Smith songs and riffs as well. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. If you did like this sound like video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way, while I'm missing any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos how to sound like videos and anything guitar related as always i've been harry and thanks for watching